decisive force, the division continues to drive the enemy back. Attacking combined arms teams hope to maintain the momentum of the attack, pressing their advantage before the enemy can regroup. The modern fluid and more lethal battlefield of today presents more challenges to the commander. Combat military police provide him with a flexible and responsive element to control his combat forces when options are restricted by obstacles. River crossing operations, such as this one successfully launched across Germany's Rhine River in World War II, have always been among the most complex and difficult to control of military undertakings. Even with the advanced technology of today, river crossings remain among the most difficult and risky maneuvers facing an armed force. They still present essentially the same problems faced at the Rhine, unique problems, different from those involved in most offensive operations. Special equipment in the form of bridges, rafts, or other amphibious units are required, and specially trained personnel are needed to emplace or operate them. Due to bank heights and accessibility, there are usually only a limited number of sites appropriate for a crossing. The enemy can pinpoint these as well as we and concentrate his firepower there. Our forces must converge on these exposed crossing points with the risk of presenting massed and vulnerable targets along the water course. Command and control is particularly difficult because forces are divided and cannot be maneuvered as an integrated combat unit. Finally, courses of action are limited and alternatives few. Once the force is committed, there can be little deviation in plan. Overall, the risk to mission success is high. Keeping this risk within acceptable limits is the fundamental problem in any river crossing. Success depends heavily on the efficient and rapid movement of enormous quantities of materiel and men, when and where they are needed. Carrying the responsibility for circulation control of vehicles and individuals, the military police play an integral role in the operation. This was true in the past, and it is true now. Though the likelihood of facing an unfordable river obstacle may seem small, an advance from Paris to Warsaw alone would involve 63 such situations. Particularly on today's nuclear battlefield, it is imperative that all military police have a thorough understanding of their special role in support of the river crossing. These military police extend to the roadways the commander's control of the battle area. In planning a deliberate type of river crossing, Corps headquarters assigns each division the objective of a crossing area. A crossing area will encompass enough territory on the far bank of the river to enable combined arms teams to establish themselves and continue to press the main attack. Each division's objective is further organized by the division commander into brigade objectives. A crossing at this level is normally conducted in three phases. The first goal would be the taking of intermediate brigade objectives by a small assault force. Control of this area should deny the enemy direct fire on the crossing sites and permit the use of rafts. Following this, the brigade objectives will be taken. Capture of this area should deny indirect enemy fire on the river, allowing construction of large vehicular bridges. Attainment of these objectives should eliminate the river obstacle from further consideration in accomplishing the division objective of establishing the bridgehead line. MP responsibilities are integrally involved in all of these phases. In each division is an MP company under the control of the division provost marshal to provide combat support. Normally, one platoon is assigned to provide security for the tactical command post and division main. Three are with the committed brigades. One is dedicated to prisoner of war evacuation and control and the fifth engaged in general support, including mobile patrols assigned to route security, convoy escort, and other functions. However, because a river crossing is so complex and difficult in operation, this company can only provide part of the military police support needed and will be augmented by core MP elements working in the division support area. 
The forward portion of the division area, to include areas on the far bank, is designated as the crossing area under the control of a crossing area commander. The crossing area will have main and secondary crossing sites and enough space for dispersal of convoys. This is where the converging concentration of troops, equipment, and supplies will require maximum coordination and control. Except for the security platoon, the entire military police company will be in support of the crossing area, functioning under the direction of its commander. Combat MP support in the DSA will be provided by core military police elements placed in direct support of division. These contingents are subject to the request of the division provo marshal. Military police participation in the river crossing begins in the planning phase at core level, long before the first trucks begin to roll. Second the 23rd is already met. I'm just being waiting here. Second of the 46th. It crossed also 4th of the 26th. It crossed this river here. And standing by to move out to the deck. We need to hear from you people. Okay. Fuzz Brigade report for the first and second. It's had its LD. And we'll be ready to cross. We're all 800. After the division is established, a detailed crossing plan is prepared at the Tactical Operations Center. Blockage on MSR 6, uh, we receive this report through routine patrols. The all-important traffic circulation portion of the plan is the responsibility of division traffic headquarters. During a river crossing, when the movement of men and materiel has a direct vital influence on the progress of the assault, the THQ is located near the Tactical Operations Center. The traffic headquarters, under the direction of the G4, works closely with G3, transportation, signal, and engineer units, and the Provo Marshal. Taking into account the existing road net and route recon reports from the engineers and military police on the condition of those roads, THQ prepares a traffic circulation plan to support the tactical requirement of the entire operation. Areas this plan designates the main supply routes key points, such as convoy staging areas, engineer regulating points, and holding areas. Uh, when complete, an overlay of the plan is taken to the Provo Marshal's headquarters, usually located nearby. The assistant Provo Marshal develops a traffic control plan to ensure that the desired circulation will be carried out as efficiently as possible. Military police circulation control points are designated at all crossing points, staging areas, road junctions, and other locations where traffic may need close control. Based on intelligence about existing road nets on the enemy shore, they are also planned at points on the far side of the river, all the way to the core forward boundary. These CCPs are subject to change based on the tactical situation. Before any attempt to cross the river is made, all the necessary equipment for every phase is brought forward from the DSA and cores to positions from which it can be rapidly launched. Zero hour has arrived, and the first assault wave begins the attack. Once the operation begins, speed and efficiency are essential to its success. Plans must provide for a rate of crossing and buildup on the far bank that exceeds the enemy's ability to concentrate against it. Once the assault forces land on the far bank, they advance as rapidly as possible toward their objectives. No extensive reorganization is attempted. MPs will be needed on the far side of the river as soon as the banks are cleared to efficiently direct and control the movement of combat forces that will continue the brigade and division mission. The first MP contingents usually go over with the follow-up echelons soon after the initial assault parties have gained a secure foothold and direct enemy fire has been eliminated. The follow-up echelon consists of the various combat units and support equipment needed by the assault party to push out from its beachhead and secure the crossing sites. As part of the traffic control plan, MPs prevent congestion at the crossing points. The assault forces begin moving rapidly toward their intermediate objective. And the first circulation control points on the far bank are established. 
The Division MP Company has the responsibility from the rear edge of the crossing area all the way forward to the core bridgehead line. With the near bank now subject to only intermittent indirect fire, mobile assault bridges are employed. Combined arms teams employ the MAB to transport armored combat vehicles across the obstacle to the battle area prior to a bridge being in place. Combat MPs on the far shore control movement from the offloading point to the committed brigades. In addition to their traffic control functions, military police supporting the assault units also perform other important duties, such as intelligence reporting, collecting and redirecting stragglers, and evacuating and controlling prisoners of war. Temporary collection points are set up in the crossing area to relieve the combat forces of the responsibility for these PWs as far forward as possible. As the assault forces gain ground, Military police elements move forward with them to support their continuing traffic control needs. To replace them, additional MPs must be brought over for crossing area operations. Meanwhile, on the near bank, MP teams have set up circulation control points at all key road junctions in the crossing area. The CCP is the basic unit for traffic control and plays a critical role in the mission. Generally manned by three or four MPs, it is operated as long as the tactical situation warrants. One man controls traffic. Others provide security. And the senior man operates the radio and coordinates changes to convoy schedules and routing. Communications between headquarters, Understand crossing Alpha, sites, and the various the CCPs Amber. is essential in an operation as closely coordinated as the river crossing. The CCP site is chosen with an eye to control of traffic, Route a is in amber condition. cover and concealment, tactical security, and available communication. The CCP is a valuable information center for the military driver, providing directions, reporting on road conditions, and enemy activities. That's right, just, uh, my orders would say, take Route B to the crossing of these troops. In, the in addition, CCP so personnel gather and report yeah. useful information from those using the roads. Checking a map to see what it is. Then. Okay. Uh, back down uh, continuation of Route A here, I encountered some fire about. Uh, one, one, three, five. Timely CCP reports concerning movements of enemy personnel and local inhabitants affect the tactical situation. In addition to those at major road junctions, CCPs are always placed at such key locations as staging areas. Staging areas are points where equipment is assembled and organized before being sent on toward the river. Avoiding congestion when possible and using whatever concealment is available, they are located far enough back from the river to facilitate rerouting and use of alternate roads to the crossing sites if necessary. Circulation control point functions here include controlling movement into and out of the area in an orderly manner and according to schedule. 
Engineer regulating points, or ERPs, are usually located between the staging areas and the crossing site. Here, technical checks are made by combat engineers to determine that loading and vehicle weight are appropriate to the type of equipment being used in the crossing. MPs ensure that no vehicles join the convoy without having cleared the ERP. Vehicle breakdown on the bridge will impede the rapid flow of traffic forward. On the far side of the river, the brigade objective has nearly been achieved. CCPs are established along the road net of the newly captured territory. With the river now free from fire, engineers continue moving elements of the division by all available means. Convoys move through the crossing area in greater numbers, according to plans. As the volume of traffic swells, the need for control intensifies to prevent delays or congestion. MP patrols move along the main supply routes, or MSRs, dealing with traffic problems as they are encountered. Whenever obstructions are found, rerouting may be necessary to maintain an efficient flow of traffic. Rerouting is accomplished through the chain of command from the MP platoon leader to the assistant provost marshal to the traffic control headquarters where the most efficient new routing will be worked out based on previous route reconnaissance reports submitted by both the engineers and military police. The changes are then quickly relayed back through channels to all CCPs which might be affected. In order to provide responsive support, MP personnel must be thoroughly familiar with the road net, including alternate routes and bypasses. Alert performance by every individual MP in a river crossing prevents congestion, delays, and mistakes that could cost lives and ultimately threaten the success of the entire operation. Heavy combat support traffic begins moving across the river. MPs at control points must supervise spacing and speed of the bridge traffic. They must also honor priorities so that essential material does not become delayed behind shipments of lesser urgency. MPs also assist stragglers who are separated from their units and need direction. The smooth flow of traffic to and away from bridges is greatly aided by the use of holding areas, usually placed between the staging area and ERP. These areas provide locations where convoys can be temporarily held to prevent massing. Here again, when word is received that a high priority forward moving convoy is approaching, the MP directs lesser priority convoys into the holding area. This prompt action avoids the congestion and delay that would otherwise occur on this one-way road. MPs also have the responsibility for prisoner of war evacuation. After being held temporarily by division MPs, this group is being taken back by core elements to the main collecting point in the rear area. When the crossing site equipment is damaged or out of operation, MPs report any delay or damage that threatens backup of traffic near the bridges. This calls for the use of dispersal areas. Usually located close to crossing points, they permit vehicles to spread out under good cover while waiting to proceed. The massing of equipment and personnel is to be avoided at all costs and is a major responsibility of MPs during a river crossing. Congestion on either side of the crossing site provides a lucrative target and must be prevented. The 
river crossing is on its way to achieving success. The division has now fought its way almost to the bridgehead line. By the time combat service support units cross the river, the MP has already accomplished the major part of his mission, and the division has achieved its objectives thus far. As soon as all division elements have crossed, MP areas of responsibility undergo a major and permanent shift. The entire crossing area now becomes the responsibility of the Corps MPs. Division MPs all move forward, providing the manpower needed to support the division in its advance. Turning over their circulation control points, division MPs move up toward their brigades. The close cooperation between division and Corps MP elements was successful as a result of close and continuing coordination and effective supervision. MP's primary mission in any river crossing is to support the scheme of maneuver through efficient traffic control and according to the overall circulation plan. In operations of this nature, division MP platoons are normally deployed within the crossing area, while core MPs handle the division support area. Finally, when the brigade objective has been achieved, division MP responsibilities shift to include support of the committed brigades while core elements assume responsibility of the crossing area. Conducting a successful major river crossing is a difficult task at best. The very nature of such operations generates unusual problems, taxing the ingenuity and flexibility of military police units. Much depends on the performance of each individual MP engaged in the operation, for he transmits the commander's direction of the battle area to every element of the combined arms team.